Kelly's Reading Corner, Kelly's Reading Corner. Because what else would I be doing with two kids during a pandemic but reading picture books? So join us. Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Story Corner. And today we are going to be reading another Robert Munch book called Aaron's Hair. And I thought it was particularly appropriate since right now everybody and their mother is waiting for their hair to grow down to their butt and go gray, myself included. Yes, this book is for anyone who's ever had a bad hair day. And I guarantee that's most of you because we all have bad hair days. This is Aaron's family. Aaron wanted to look just like his daddy. Right there. Mm, looks like a nice guy. Oh, so he let his hair get long. Only then he started to have problems. Uh oh, her problems. Oh dear. Oh, if he combed his hair up, his hair flipped down. If he combed his hair down, his hair flipped up. If he combed his hair over, his hair flipped under. If he combed his hair under, his hair flipped over. One day, while Aaron was combing his hair, he got so mad that he yelled, Hair, I hate you! Ooh. Oh, and this is his friend the turtle, who's watching this silently going, Oh my gosh. Oh dear! Oh no! That hurt the hare's feelings. Well, I guess I can understand that because that's an awful thing to say to someone. It jumped off of Aaron's head and ran out of the bathroom. Oh, when Aaron came downstairs, his mother said, Aaron, you're bald. What happened? My hair ran away, said Aaron. I got mad at it and it ran away. Oh dear, bald as ping pong ball. Oh, this is terrible, said his mother. Go catch it. So Aaron ran out the door and his mother went to pick up the baby. She noticed the baby had a lot of hair. Aaron, she yelled, I found your hair. That's ridiculous. Oh dear, it's a scuffle. Oh, but Aaron... When Aaron ran back inside, his hair jumped over his head and ran out the door and down the street. So Aaron chased it down the street. After a while, he came to a lady who was yelling and screaming, help, 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 help. What is the matter? Asked Aaron. <gasps> oh, that's a problem. Look at my tummy, said the lady. This hair came running down the street, and now it is growing on my tummy. It, it does look a little strange, said Aaron. Make it go away, said the lady. Just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. The lady yelled, hair, I hate you. The hair jumped off the lady and ran down the street, and Aaron ran after it. Even the hair is having a bad hair day. Next, Aaron came to a man who was running around in circles, yelling, help, 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 help. What's the matter? Asked Aaron. Oh, he doesn't look happy either. Ooh, ooh, he's saying, ooh. Look at me, said the man. This hair came running down the street, and now it is growing on my behind. His bottom. Oh, dear. That, that does look a little strange, said Aaron. Make it go away, yelled the man. Just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. The man yelled, hair, I hate you. The hair jumped off of the man. It ran down the street and Aaron ran after it. Oh, Aaron's getting a workout. You know the neighbors. Uh-oh. Aaron chased it all the way down to the middle of downtown where there was an enormous traffic jam. A policeman was screaming, help, 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 help. I'm surprised he didn't call for backup except for the fact that he couldn't see his walkie-talkie. Oh, Aaron went to the policeman and said, that's my hair. 
Your hair, said the policeman. This hair came running down the street, ran up my back, and started growing on my face. I can't see a thing. I am supposed to be directing traffic, and everything is all jammed up. Well, I guess the other thing is, Anne is very lucky that this policeman can't see well enough to write him a ticket, or rather write the hair a ticket. That would be hard to explain. Uh-oh. Yep, that's a mess. One big automotive mess. Right, said Aaron. What a mess. Ten cars, nine motorcycles, eight trucks, seven buses, six baby carriages, five skateboards, four bicycles, three ambulances, two fire trucks, and a train. That is one heck of a mess. And in the background, I'm just going to point out this lovely statue because it is one I know very well. <gasps> and my face, said the policeman. This hair is growing on my face. It, it, it does look a little strange, said Aaron. Make it go away, yelled the policeman. Just tell it to get off, said Aaron. Tell it you don't like it. So the policeman yelled, hair, I hate you. The hair jumped off the policeman's face and ran into the pile of cars. Oh no, said Aaron. Now we'll never find it. Well, I guess the turtle is trying his best though. That's a big mess for a turtle to sort out. Oh, just then the police chief uh -oh, came up and said, what is going on? Everything is all jammed up. And who put the hair on the statue? Statue, said Aaron. The statue in the fountain, the police chief said. The one you kids always mess around with. Get the hair off the statue. Oh dear, in big trouble. Oh, so this, I went to the University of Guelph. And this statue is in the middle kind of of the town square that I saw all the time. It's two parents reaching out toward their baby and it, it is absolutely lovely. It's in a fountain. Uh, if, my, if memory serves me correctly, it was quite some time ago. I'm not gonna date myself. Um, but yes, with hair on it, it does look strange. Well, Aaron got permission. He climbed up onto the statue and almost caught his hair, but it ran away and Aaron chased it all the way home. And then he couldn't find it at all. Oh dear. Oh, oh wow, they are, they're looking everywhere. In the garage, in the yard, in the garbage. Oh, oh, oh. At dinner, Aaron said, I'm bald forever. I wish my hair would come back. I like my hair. And the hair jumped off the father's head, onto the table, ran over the mashed potatoes, peas and chicken, and climbed back onto Aaron's head. Fantastic, said Aaron. Now, if I can just grow a beard, I will look just like Daddy. He looks rather astonished. <laughs> no problem, says the hare. What? A kid with a massive beard? That is ridiculous. Well, I'm so glad that the hare is happy and that Aaron is happy <laughs> and that his whole family is happy. And I don't know where the rest of that hair came from, but it wanted to give everybody in the family equal opportunity to look just like daddy. Very cute. And that is the end of Aaron's hair. So until we meet next time, take care of your hair, cut it, grow it, whatever you feel like this is now the time to do whatever you want with your hair except you have to get permission to do any cutting. Got it? Okay. All right. Take care, and we'll see you next time on Kelly's Reading Corner. Bye. Thanks for joining us.
don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next Friday. This is still a Ginger Cat production.